Did you know plants turn sunlight into fuel with barely any waste? Scientists are now copying that trick, and the latest plastic leaf does it better than ever. Earlier this year, a team in Japan embedded catalysts inside a sponge-like hydrogel, a water-soaked polymer network, so sunlight races through it and splits water into hydrogen and oxygen at a record 20% solar to hydrogen efficiency. That means one-fifth of the sunlight becomes usable fuel, about twice what today, as solar panels manage after you count conversion losses. If you've never heard of a photoelectrochemical cell, picture a solar panel that's half battery, half aquarium. The light absorbing layer generates electrons, and the catalyst uses them instantly to break water molecules apart. No moving parts, no external wires, just H2 bubbles rising like champagne. Cambridge researchers even built floating artificial leaves. They're wafer thin perovskite films sealed against water, so they drift on rivers or oceans and convert sunlight plus CO2 into syngas, the feedstock for sustainable aviation fuel. Think solar farms that sail instead of sprawl. Why does efficiency matter? Because the International Energy Agency says green hydrogen has to drop below $2 a kilo to compete with fossil versions, and every percent you squeeze from the sun trims that price. We're also seeing organic semiconductors replace expensive silicon. A UK-led team used cheap carbon-based materials to keep cells stable for months in outdoor tests while slashing costs. And it's not just hydrogen. One device recently flipped sunlight, CO2, and even plastic waste into fuels and pharmaceutical precursors, almost like photosynthesis on steroids. So here's the big question. Will artificial photosynthesis power your next flight? Or is it another lab bench wonder? Tell me what you think down below. And while you're there, hit like, smash that subscribe button, and share this video so more people can see the science lighting up our clean energy future.